Hello, this is Breakfast with Charlie State and Tina Dahili. The army has been called in to help rescue drivers stuck in snow and blizzards overnight. Hundreds are still stranded. Police in Somerset and Hampshire have declared major incidents. Troops, Coast Guard and search and rescue teams have been working through the night to clear roads. Amber and yellow warnings for snow, ice and wind still cover most of the UK. Ten people now thought to have died in weather-related incidents since the severe weather began four days ago. Good morning, it's Friday the 2nd of March. Also this morning, a blueprint for Brexit. Theresa May will deliver a long-awaited speech setting out her plans for a future relationship with the EU. Good morning. If you're affected by the snow, is it still worth struggling to get to work? And will you get paid if you stay at home? I'll explain all the rules before 7. In sport, it's no joke for Arsenal fans. Tens of thousands give their side the cold shoulder and miss their team's second thrashing in the week by Manchester City as the pressure builds on manager Arsene Wenger. Sarah will have all the latest on the weather. Good morning. Yes, another bitterly cold day out there today. We've got a combination of heavy snowfall, more ice and those biting easterly winds too. But I'll bring you a full UK forecast throughout the morning. Sarah, thank you. Good morning. That's our main story. Hundreds of motorists are still trapped after spending the night in cars in freezing cold temperatures, stranded on motorways because of heavy snow.